Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to finally tackle the problem that you may have seen in a previous video where I show you how to get the max performance tweaks out of uh, your AMD GPU as well as your CPU in uh, Linux for gaming. And the problem that I ran into was normally in Ubuntu 22.04, which uses kernel 5.19, uh, we are unable to set the power limits higher than the default of it for it, the 6900 XT's case. The default power limit is 255 watts, but it's very capable to go all the way up to its max of 293 watts. But in Ubuntu 22.04 with kernel 5.19, we were unable to increase the power limits uh, in order to get a little bit better performance out of our uh, system. And in that video uh, here, around the nine and a half minute mark, you can see where I was going to show how Ubuntu is ignoring the power limit increase via command line. Um, and it was going to stay stuck at the default 255 watts. However, in this video, it actually did increase the watts to 290 or 284 watts or whatever I ended up setting it here in this video. So the, the, the power limit did increase like it was supposed to. And I was very confused as to why it had never done that before in any of my tests. And it, you can see in the video the hint to the solution. So in the... So, the video here uh, as I uh, get going you can see that I try to set the power limit of 283 watts and I try to set it in hardware mon 7 and that is typically where my AMD GPU sim link to its uh, control files are located which is hardware mon 7 and in this particular case, on this particular video, uh, again, it, it said here, no such file or directory. And I, it kind of took me back for a second, and I didn't understand why. Uh, but uh, as you'll see here in the video, it's actually located in hardware mon 6. Uh, so I quickly changed it here to hardware mon 6 uh, in order to uh, set try uh, to attempt to set the power limit to something higher than 255 watts. And, um, you know, it shows that it took, which is normal, even in the other one. And as you can see here, it did increase to 283 watts like we had set here in the command line. And I was kind of taken back by it. And I even said, oh, that must be a change in the kernel or something. But it wasn't. It has everything to do with what you just saw there, whether or not the AMD GPU is initialized earlier in the boot sequence so that it has a hardware mon sim link of hardware mon 6 or less if it's hardware mon 7 or more then the changes that you make to the files in the hardware mon where for, for instance the uh, perf cap uh right here power one cap uh, it's the default of 255 watts. So any changes that you make via the command line or via a GUI uh, program like uh, Core Control uh, is going to be ignored if it's in hardware mon 7 or higher. And what is the cause of that? And the cause of that is too many devices being initialized before the AMD GPU in the boot sequence. And so what I mean by that is, uh, so if we go to the logs here real quick, and uh, in this particular uh, setup that I have here, uh, I have the uh, Asus uh, X570 Crosshair uh, 8, I believe it, it Wi-Fi 8. And uh, there's, you know, quite a different uh, uh, amount of hardware that is installed on this system. So uh, it's got uh, two Wi-Fi's. Uh, I'm sorry, one Wi-Fi. It's got the uh, Intel here Wi-Fi, uh, but it has two network interface cards, a Realtek and an Intel uh, network card. And as you can see here, uh, here we have also like uh, the HDMI audio. 
uh, enabling the device, initializing it, and it's going to sim link it here between a hardware mon uh, zero or hardware mon two. Uh, then for the uh, AMD GPU, uh, the AMD GPU, uh, where is it? Uh, anyways, it, it'll say initializing it between uh, six, uh, greater than six or seven or something like that. So too many devices were being initialized. Uh, and that was preventing the AMD GPU from loading up earlier in the boot sequence before other initialized hardware. And uh, again, for some unknown reason, I don't know why, but if the AMD GPU is located in a uh, sim link of hardware mon uh, seven or higher, then any changes that you make to those uh, files, increasing the power limits or decreasing the voltage or increasing the core clocks uh, will be ignored. So uh, how did I fix it? How did I get around uh, this problem? I only have one ethernet cable going to this computer. And um, so I, I don't need uh, one of those network interface cards. So I went into the BIOS and uh, disabled uh, via the BIOS under advanced and device configuration. And I just scrolled down to the Intel Wi-Fi card and disabled it uh, since I wasn't using it anyways and just made sure that my ethernet cable was connected to the Realtek uh, card. So uh, that then uh, again allowed the uh, AMD GPU to initialize uh, earlier in the boot sequence, uh, allowing it to have a sim link of hardware mon uh, six, uh, which is uh, then going to allow the kernel driver to recognize the changes that we've made to the uh, card's limits and allow us to uh, push the power limits up higher to the 293 watts. Uh, so uh, in this video here, my previous video, uh, definitely go back and watch that if you want to make these changes, because there are some uh, prerequisites that you're going to need in order to be able to make these changes. One of them is appending uh, the, uh, where is it here? Do I have it listed in here on the comments? I don't, but it's going to be um, enabling the feature mask, uh, which allows the overclocking of the AMD GPU um so in fact let me grab that for you real quick okay so uh here we have uh under the uh, arch linux uh, wiki uh the boot parameter that you would need to add to the grub menu uh i'm sorry the grub boot uh which is this uh, amd gpu dot pp feature mask equals uh, zero by uh, x and then eight f's and what you would do with that is you would put that into your grub and i'll show you that real quick here so sudo uh, nano etc and default grub and you can see here that uh, right after quiet splash i have a space and then the uh, amd gpu feature mask uh, here control x out and save it then you're going to have to do a uh, sudo uh, update and dash grub, uh, which I'm not going to do because I've already done that. But uh, that will then allow the overclocking features on the AMD uh, GPU via command line or via the GUI, like for something like core control. And uh, once you reboot and then you want to increase your power limits, and uh, take advantage of the uh, higher cooling headroom that you may have available to you on your card, um, then I've created another uh, quick command line all in one. And uh, this will then uh, work for any hardware mon that the GPU is located. Again, It'll only work if the AMD GPU is in hardware mon six or less. And in order for that to happen, I had to disable the Intel network interface card and only use one of the network interface cards. But uh, this is pretty simple. It's echo performance, pipe, pseudo T, and then uh, here to uh, CPU, CPU freak, and scaling governor. What this does is that sets the CPU to performance mode. Uh, 
um, and and the 5800x uh, 3D instead of baseline clock of being 2200 megahertz, it would increase it to uh, 34 megahertz as a base, but it'll boost all the way up to the 45 megahertz, 4500 megahertz. Uh, then we have Echo High, uh, pseudo T, and then your card zero device power DPM force performance level. That's going to set the AMD GPU card to a high uh, P state and uh, keep it in the high state, uh, which will help smooth out uh, any 1% one uh, lows. And then uh, Echo 1 and pseudo T, DRM, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have here hardware mon asterisk. That's the key. Uh, so it doesn't matter then what your hardware mon is, uh, whether it's 2 or 6 or even 7, um, then uh, PWM enable. Uh, that sets the manual control over the PWM fans on the AMD GPU. Then uh, we have the Echo 284 watts uh, with the pseudo T, uh, again, located in hardware mon asterisk. Uh, and again, once I've disabled the Intel network interface card, it is now being reported in hardware mon 6. Uh, which is where we want it because anything over six, then anything changes that we make in here is going to ignore the power, those power limit increases uh, in the power cap file. And that'll set it to 284 watts. And then we have the Echo 192 uh, into the hardware Mon PWM1. And that is going to actually set the RPMs uh, of the fan itself. And uh, we can show how this happens uh, with p-sensor here uh, it's monitoring the uh, fans of uh, the amd gpu and uh, as well as a whole bunch of other nice useful temp and uh, fan sensors and usage uh, percentages so uh, let's go ahead and do this it will ask for my password that is normal so we're going to go ahead and do that as you can see it's at uh, performance uh, on the CPU, it set the GPU to high state. Uh, we've enabled uh, manual control over the fans. Uh, we've set the power limit to 284 watts, and we've set the fans uh, to its uh, 192. Uh, it, that's just like a hexadecimal representation of the fan percentage speeds. So uh, it sets it now to that 192 sets my particular GPU to 2200 RPM. Uh, if I wanted to, I could change uh, this to something like, let's say 202 and get another uh, like 1000 RPM out of it. Uh, so for instance here, if I set this to uh, 202, we can see what's gonna happen here to the RPMs. There it is, and now the RPMs increase, and it'll be reported about a thousand. I'm sorry, a hundred RPM higher. Uh, so let's also uh, change instead of 284 watts. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and set this all the way to 290 watts, and uh, let's just really push this card uh, to its limits and see what we can actually get out of it. All right, so 290 watts, and what we can do is we can double check to make sure that that is indeed what has been set in the perf cap file under hardware mon uh, 6. So uh, sys and class and uh, DRM card zero device hardware mon hardware mon 6 and power cap. There we go. We have now set it instead of the default 255 watts, it is set to the 290 watts. And again, the max for this card is going to be uh, determined by the VBIOS, and that is then uh, set in the power one cap max of 293 watts. And that's just the limit on the reference card uh, AMD 6900 XT. So you might have uh, 303 watts on maybe something like a Red Devil uh, 6900 XT or something like that. All right, so now that we've got uh, these set, you can monitor the power output of the AMD GPU uh, through this command here, the pseudo watch n, meaning a time of uh, half a second, uh, cat, and then AMD GPU PM info. And that'll ask for your password too, but since I'd already done it here in the previous command, it didn't ask for it for again. Uh, but as you can see here, it'll report the memory clock uh, frequency, the core clock frequency, and the P state, 
of the core clock as well as the mem clock and uh, the uh, voltages going to the core as well as then the watts being reported uh, used by the GPU. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up Star Citizen here and we'll see if we can get that uh, 290 watts. All right, here we have. We have Star Citizen loaded up and I'm just quantum driving over here to Microtech. Uh, just to load up the GPU and uh, so let's go ahead and see what is being reported and here we go uh, So it is boosting up to 290 291 watts and so it did take effect and uh, There we go. There we have it So now I'm gonna be able to do a little bit more apples to apples comparison of this AMD GPU between Linux and Windows once CIG gets their uh, garbage fixed, you know, it's been such a sad state of affairs with uh, update 3.18 and I'm very excited for when they finally get the bugs worked out. It's just been so unplayable that I haven't been able to do any testing on it. But now that we've got this problem figured out where we are now uh, consistently able to set a higher uh, max wattage uh, of the more than the default of 255 watts we can proceed with a little bit more testing uh, especially with the uh, upcoming 7800 x3d that uh, I tan uh, plan to test so uh, there you have it so if you are an AMD GPU owner and you are in this situation where you are unable to set the power limit higher than the default power limit of that card uh, double check and see where your card sim link is if it's in hardware mon 7 or higher then you will not be able to set the power limits higher and you must then disable one or more of your other extraneous items uh, so for me i just disabled in the bios the intel um, network interface card um, or if let's say you are connected via network card and you also have uh, wi-fi maybe disable the wi-fi card uh, on via the bios and then that'll allow the gpu to be in a hardware mon sim link of six or less which then we can now show that it's boosting just fine up to the 290 90 watts that we just set there via the command line. So uh, stay tuned for the performance of the 7800X3D as well as a video of how to use uh, core control uh, to do everything that we've shown here plus a lot more uh, via a graphic you know, user interface uh, rather than just command line. So uh, take care and we'll see you next time.